What's up guys? Kentucky Beardsman here. This is Review the Reviewer and if you enjoy this series or con scams and hypocrites or my regular content reviews and or posts, shorts, reels, stories, whatever else it may be, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It, it costs you literally nothing. It takes less than a second to do and it helps my channel grow, reach more ears and more eyes. So, with that being said, this series is about constructive criticism. If you can't handle it, don't watch it. It's that simple. If you don't like what I say, all you gotta do is unsubscribe and go to a different circle of the community. It's that simple. Okay? The last video brought plenty of haters and I love them. I laugh at them. I talk with them. I'll any and everything. I don't care. But... If you're going to be that serious and get that butt hurt over it, see you later. I don't need you here. It's not that big of a deal. Again, this freaking thing is not about freaking numbers. It really, really isn't. This is a freaking hobby. So grow the fuck up and let's dive in. Again, constructive criticism. It, please, if you are one of those people that sent me a message asking if I was going to review Denver Beard Reviews, I ask you extremely respectful respectively be very respectful uh, and be very nice and actually genuinely try to help by giving the advice that you have for Denver Beard Reviews down in the comment section don't be a dick don't be an asshole this is a nice kid I've spoke with him a few times he seems to be a really really nice guy when I say kid it's just a freaking term in general so if that offends you people out there, get over it. I'm tired of people being offended. I don't care anymore. So, Denver Beard Reviews. This is a very new channel. He's about a year and a month old, something like that. Uh, I think he started his YouTube channel December 17th, 2021. He has 96 videos, 146 subs, and 5,000, oh, I can't remember, 5,000 and something views. 5,601 reviews. I swore to myself I'd get all those without forgetting, but I didn't. So, Denver Beard Reviews. Again, we're going to do this series a little bit different. We're going to mix it up just a smidge. I'm not just going to go pros, cons. I'm just going to say you have a good channel. You have a great potential to have a really, really good channel. You speak well. You seem to relate with your viewers. Um, my opinion is two simple things. Pump your brakes, slow down with how many videos you're putting out a week. And I'm not talking just videos in general. You can put out a video every week. I, again, it, it's your channel. Do what you want. But if you want a little bit more respect in the community, build a little bit of, of a stronger trust bond with your viewers, I highly recommend slowing down of how many companies you review in a certain set of time, we'll just say. I personally have noticed where there are multiple reviews of companies in a week, you can't test that many products. You, well, you can. You can tr test one product for one time. I mean, I get it. You can do whatever you want. But if you want, again, to be that trustworthy reviewer that people go to and you build a very solid core of, um, of viewers that come back every single week, not just get a hundred thousand subs and then only get a thousand views every week if you want that higher percentage of people coming back build the trust with your viewers and slow down and really test the products really really good if you're getting i i know from experience because i got in a little deep at one point and had companies just throwing free stuff at me all the time don't worry about those companies Tell them no, I'm too overstocked. If, if that's the case, again, I don't know. But again, pump your brakes, right? That's 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 the, the one issue. Really, it's pretty much technically the only issue. It's just slow down. Also, I noticed almost, well, I'm just gonna say the large majority of the companies that you do review or talk about, you get a discount ambassador or affiliate code. I know some of them are just discount codes, whatever. It's Again, your channel, do what you do. But if you put your name on every single product out there, people are not going to be happy when, you know, let's say over the next year, 10 different people don't like a bunch of companies that you recommend just because they're every single company out there. 
I get it. You want to make a splash. You want to be that guy that people go to. You want to do that? Well, you've got to take the baby steps first. Slapping your name on very subpar companies is not going to help you. I know for a fact because I've tried some of those companies that you have talked about and said are really, really good. And I get it. I get it. Everyone's going to say, well, your beard's different than his. I promise you, I know a subpar product, even if it's a blend that I don't like. I know a subpar product when I use one. I'm not a big fan of Argan, Coconut, uh, Metaphone. But this company right here has all those ingredients and it is fucking phenomenal. It is a great fill-in beard. It for some reason works for me because it's a higher quality of product. Some of these very small companies can send you some products and you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to you know, pushing negativity out there, whatever it may be. Don't worry about that. Do you, I promise you, you will build trust with your people by being honest with them. You will build more trust by not recommending every single company out there. You, you, it's just something I see a lot of reviewers do and I wish less of them would do that or more of them would not do that. How's that sound? But besides that, truly go and check out Denver Beard Reviews. Give him some honest feedback. Tell the man if you don't like that he's reviewing so many companies or you don't like what he says or how he describes stuff or if he needs to describe stuff better or whatever it may be, get in his comment section, get in this comment section. I'm sure he'll probably end up watching this at some point. Give him your advice. He'll either take it, he'll either, well, let me back that up. He'll either take the advice or he'll not take the advice or he'll get mad and block us all. I mean, that's pretty much how it would go. Hopefully he understands this is constructive criticism. This is speaking from experience. This is speaking from seeing it happen to so many other reviewers that are not with us anymore because they moved on. Because, hey, if people don't pay attention to you, you probably aren't going to keep making videos. That's just kind of the name of the game. Um, but again, you've got great potential, man. You really, really do. I can see that. I highly recommend everyone go and give him some support. Give him a sub. If you're subscribed to me, you should go subscribe to all 11 people that I have reviewed because they have at least been good enough sports to either A, not cuss me out, or B, respond in a nice way. All right? So, again, this is what it's all about is trying to help other channels. If you can't handle it, adios amigos. I don't need you here. But if you do enjoy this content, again, hit that subscribe button. Denver Beard Reviews. I hope your channel grows. I hope it blows mine out of the water. I will see you guys on the next episode.